secure CRT window. And <clears throat> we now have, in the, within the batch file, we have a two starts here at the beginning, this one and this one. The first one is going to, to log into R1, and the second one is going to log in into R2. So problem here is that secure CRT will not start that fast that um, the uh, batch file has the ability to log in into R2. So let's let me show you this. I will start it. And what happens? It just connects to router one because the startup of secure CRT is not fast enough. So what we now have to do is <clears throat> to um, set a little pause in here. And um, this is kind of problematic because um, you can set a, um, yeah, you can, you can set the pause in here and the batch file will pause after the first line. So let me demonstrate this, save, close secure CRT. Yes, I wish to disconnect. That's two. So let's do this. Start it up. Secure CRT starts up, connects to router one. Everything's fine, you can just use it. And um, when we are having a look at the batch file, you can see it just says press any key to continue. And if we do this, I hit enter, it will open up a second tab and connect to R2. So this is much better than manually starting up all those uh, login scripts, um, but it's still not complete aut automatic. <laughs> um, let's get a, a little bit more lazy here. And um, uh, quite, I don't know, for me it's quite good. A quite good I think a quite good possibility is to um, pause the, uh, the running of the batch file here with a ping command. <laughs> That's one of the uh, possibilities you can do here. So what we can do is insert a ping. Um, and what's important here is that it has to be a destination that is unreachable for you. So if, you, if we had... If we hit ping 127.0.0.1, so ping our local host, um, this is not really sufficient because the ping will succeed and the batch file will continue. So um, what we're going to do now, we just need an IP address that is not reachable. Um, let's say uh, ping the IP address 1.2.3.4 and we will do this with a timeout. Um, I have to, oh God, I, I don't remember, I just have to look what the syntax is here, right? Um, let me have a look into my, into my batch file that I already completed. So let's have a look, it's, okay, first of all we just want to, oh, sorry, we just want to um, send one packet. So the syntax here is dash n for the uh, count of the packets. And we just send one packet. And we can set the timeout because um, as, as the IP address 1.2.3.4 is not reachable, the, um, the ping command will wait for a specific manner of time um, to let this uh, time out. So it would wait for about, let's say, default it waits for two seconds and then it will continue. But maybe two seconds isn't enough for secure CRT to start up. So you can, uh, let's, I took um, five seconds here. So we can say dash W for, I think it's called wait. And um, let's say it's, it's set in milliseconds. So let's say 5,000 milliseconds here. Save the script, uh, save the batch file, uh, close secure CRT, and start it up again. And as you can see, nothing's happening. 
because something's going wrong. Okay, we got a. Oh, it opens up a second window, but that's not what we want to do. Uh, let me just let me just troubleshoot this. Ah, okay, we will get a response of our. We get a response of our router here. And. Hmm, what are we going to do now here? We change the IP address. So let's change the IP address into something different. Okay, let's change it into 1.1.1. Uh, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Then let's use 172.16.0.1. Sorry for that, this wasn't really planned right here. Okay, it says how it's not reachable. So we get an unreachable back. Okay, let me just fix that and um, <clears throat> I will come up with a third part of it. So, um, see you soon. Bye. Hi everybody again. Um, welcome to the third part of our scripting challenge. Um, I just fixed the, <laughs> I just fixed the problem. It's an, it's quite an easy one. It's, it's just late and the day was long. So, um, to ping to a host that won't give you any response and even not, and also not a uh, ICMP unreachable, because an ICMP unreachable is also an answer. So our, um, our uh, timeout here, which is five seconds, will not work. So just choose a, a free IP address from a LAN, se from a LAN segment. Um, my LAN segment is 192.168.1 and I just choose the IP address .50. It's, .50 doesn't exist within my network, so it definitely I won't get any IP uh, ICMP unreachable message and um, nor a uh, host will answer to this. Um, we can just check that. Ping 192.168.1.50 and as you can see ping is running no answer everything's fine so let's save this batch file here and um, start it up again we're just starting it secure CRT opens up it logs on to router 1 in the background, as you as you could see, um, the ping was running and waiting for five seconds. Of course, you can choose this value to maybe ten seconds because you got a slow PC or whatever. Um, when secure CRT is opened up, it it's <laughs> well it's well it's opened up and you can add the tabs more frequently, so you don't you don't have to wait so long. Um, so for the um, for the following routers, we can just um, fasten up the whole thing. Let me show you how. Let's first disconnect here and disconnect from route one. 